Welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardus Musicus Practicus. I've decided to make this video because a lot of music students have serious problems in harmonizing a bass and in their harmony exercises. The reason is that nowadays the harmony is teached thinking at the functions of the degrees of the scale. But this is not the correct way to harmonize a bass with facility. The functional harmony is not useful and it creates only a mechanic process in the mind that is the opposite way the old musicians used to think. In fact, the rule of the octave that is the harmonization of the octave scale represents the basics to do all the exercise of harmony harmonizations and not only. In this video, you and I are going to build together step by step all the rule of the octave. And at the end of this video, I'll give you the instructions to download a special PDF with all the passages to build the rule of the octave to understand and to study correctly this music phenomenon and all the scales to do practice at the keyboard with all the positions and all the realizations. Before starting, subscribe this channel and activate the bell. Follow me on TikTok where I publish short videos about early music, Instagram and join my Telegram channel to keep updated on all new videos. And now, let's start! What is the rule of the octave? The rule of the octave is the basic knowledge necessary for harmonizing a bass. The rule of the octave consists in the harmonization of the octave scale, for example from C to C. How to proceed? The first step consists in dividing the ascending and descending scale in four parts. Ascending pentachord, ascending tetrachord, descending tetrachord, descending pentachord. The first and the fifth degrees of the scale, white semi brevis, are like the pillars of the rule of the octave. On these notes, we put the third and fifth chord. The ascending pentachord. The ascending pentachord connects the first degree to the fifth one from C ut to G sol. On C ut and G sol, we have a third and fifth chord. The issue is connecting the two chords. If we consider the rule that is common to all baroque theorists that says on a Mi in the bass it always takes the sixth, we must put a third and sixth chord on E Mi. And we only have to connect these three chords with the third, fourth and sixth chord on D Re and with the fifth and sixth chord on F Fa. Using these chords, all the voices move to their nearest note, creating a good harmony and good voice leading. Be careful, the 4th and 6th chord is unstable. For that reason, on the Re we necessarily need the 3rd that is F, creating, in this way, the movement Fa Mi against Mi Fa. The Ascending Tetrachord the ascending tetrachord connects the fifth degree to the first one, from G ut to C fa. On G ut and on C fa we put a third fifth chord, because they are the pillars. Also in this case, on Mi we must put a sixth, according to the previous rule. But on the seventh degree it is also possible to add the diminished fifth, 
that is the first kind for French musicians, that creates the movement FAMI against MIFA. <laughs> At this point it only remains the chord on a -re. To add that, let's check the ascending pentachord. The upper voice moves with 6 intervals on the Re and e Mi, and 5th interval on f -fa. To imitate this passage, let's add a 6th on Re. Doing this, we have on Re and Mi, in both cases, 2 sixths. Now on A Re we put a simple 3rd and 6th chord, completing in this way the ascending tetrachord. As you can see, between the altus and the cantus there are two parallel fifths. But it doesn't matter. All the theorists of 18th century agree on this point. The two fifths are only an accompaniment and not a real part of a polyphonic context, and they are invisible for the ear when we play basso continuo with other instruments. And as the final step, here they complete the sandy scale. The descending tetrachord. The descending tetrachord is the opposite of the ascending tetrachord. On the first and the fifth degree, also in this case, we put the third and fifth chord, because they are the pillars. Let's proceed from what we already know. On the Mi it takes the sixth. So let's put on B Mi the third and sixth chord, but without the diminished fifth, for scan, because it is a descending scale. The movement to G ut sounds like a modulation in G major, for that use the sharp 6th on E re as the leading tone of the new key. On the major 6th above E re, A f sharp, we put the 3rd, 4th and 6th chord to don't have the 4th and 6th alone that is instable because of the 4th creating, in this way, the same movement fa mi against mi fa, but in G major. The descending pentachord. With the descending pentachord, let's start considering the pillars on the fifth and on the first degree, where we have a third and fifth chord. And then we put the 3rd and 6th chord on the Mi of E B as we have done in the sending pentachord. On F far we can put the 2nd, 4th and 6th chord considering this note as the seventh in the bass of the chord G, B, D, F, whose resolution is on a third and sixth chord, as we already have on E Mi. The note that remains, D Re, can be treated as the beginning of the ascending pentachord. So we put the 3rd, 4th and 6th chord on D Re. And now here they complete the sending scale. And 
the unifying the ascending and descending scale, hear the complete rule of the octave in C major. Other positions. The rule of the octave that we have been studying until now is in the first position because the chord on the first degree has the octave in the top voice with the bass. As you can see, the melody in the upper voice that is formed with pillar chords sings Fa, Mi, Fa, Mi, Fa. <laughs> We can harmonize the rule of the octave also starting on the first note in the second and in the third position, that is with the third and with the fifth in the top voice. Using the second position with the third in the top voice, we obtain this harmonization of pillar chords, with the upper voice singing La, Sol, La, Sol, La. <laughs> The harmonization of the rule of the octave in the second position consists in transposing an octave higher the lower voice of the right hand that start with E mi. By harmonizing the rule of the octave in the third position with the fifth in the top voice, we obtain this harmonization of the pillar chords, with the upper voice singing Sol, 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 Sol. <laughs> The harmonization of the rule of the octave in the third position consists in transposing an octave higher the lower voice of the right hand in the second position. That starts with G sol. How does the rule of the octave work in the minor mode? Until now we have been considering only the major mode using the key of C major. But how does the rule of the octave work in the minor mode? It works in the same way. We only have to use the melodic scale in the descending path and the natural scale in the descending path. <laughs> the building process is the same. First position, octave in the top voice. Second position, third in the top voice. Third position, fifth in the top voice. The augmented sixth. In the harmonization of the rule of the octave in the minor mode, there is the possibility of using the augmented sixth on F in the descending path.
Let's see it in the first position. Now in the second position. And now in the third position. Well done! The most important part of this video is the PDF. This is a 33 pages PDF that you can print. In the first part you find all the example you have been watching in this video. And at the end you find tables and exercises. Here the major rule of the octave with its harmonizations in the three positions, the minor rule of the octave with its harmonization in the three positions, all the scales to practice the rule of the octave at the keyboard in all the keys, major scales, minor scales, and all the realizations of the major and the minor mode scales in all the three positions. You can download this special PDF subscribing the Semibrevis membership on my Patreon page. With the Semibrevis membership, you can support my channel, helping me to create new videos, and you can also to download all the PDFs of all my videos. This video is dedicated to Vinci, who is my first patron, who subscribed the Brevis membership. Now Vinci can download this PDF and can become a master in harmonization of the rule of the octave. So take a lesson from Vinci and subscribe the Semi Brevis membership on my Patreon, link in description. That's all. If you enjoyed this video, give me your gamma out and see you in the next one. Bye.